All of our attention is on this Halloween forecast. We know the rain's coming pretty soon. Has it moved up that timeline? Yes, yeah, so we're mainly just looking at the rain showers, Brooke. They kind of sped up in their speed overall, which is good news because that means that um, if we're able to get this rain out of here earlier than scheduled, then that means that we could be dealing with some drying trend taking place for trick or treating. But for now, we're still issuing the weather impact alert day for the heads up that some steady rainfall will be underway for the remainder of the afternoon today. So again, the rain showers are going to be drifting through from west to east. We're not looking at widespread kind of Flooding, no severe weather risk. In fact, a quick little zoom in on Metro Louisville. Notice in New Albany to Sellersburg and towards Prospect and Charlestown, Indiana. There's a little bit of a cell uh, right over right over I-265. In the Metro, uh, just a couple of sporadic showers. We are dealing with more of a steady band of rain off towards Cordon right now on the north side of the Ohio River. And up to the north, uh, we're currently dealing with some light showers. Seymour to Salem, Scottsburg, North Vernon, and Madison all included. And down to the south, we also do have some additional little pockets of light rain. Fort Knox to Radcliffe, even just to the west of Elizabethtown, and a steady little band of rain over Brandenburg and Tell City. So again, we're going to continue to watch these areas of showers for the remainder of the afternoon, and a couple of them could be trailing into the evening, uh, giving way to kind of a uh, chance for some intermittent light rain showers for much of the trick-or-treating festivities. So if you have little ones at home looking forward to trick-or-treating, keep in mind showers will be likely the rain poncho and the umbrella probably a good idea. Here's actually a quick look out the door. Temperature wise, really not too bad. The big uh, kind of uh, good news out of today's forecast. Of course, the temperatures really are going to be held in check. I know last year it was pretty chilly for Halloween. This year, thankfully, we're all going to be situated in the 70s and 60s. I do want to mention as well, the winds a little bit bothersome outside. We're going to be noticing a few leaves being blown around. And if you do have some outdoor furniture, maybe some outdoor Halloween decorations, uh, they could be blowing around a little bit as well. So keep that in mind. So future cast continue to show directly until about two o'clock. We're still going to be dealing with a couple of additional bands of rainfall. And right now, future cast is still keeping the light rain scattered about into about four in the afternoon. We are going to see a few more bands of very light pockets of rainfall, maybe as late as 7 p.m. But I do think if you are going to be trick or treating a little later, uh, the trend is going to be for drier conditions later on this evening as temperatures will still be staying well into the middle 60s. So that's the good news out of this. And we're going to bring in the Friday where the nice thing is it's going to be cool tomorrow morning, but uh, sunshine is going to be dominating our weather forecastable tomorrow and heading right on to the weekend. I do want to reiterate too the drought monitor was updated this morning just before 9 a.m. And we are now issued in abnormally dry conditions in Louisville and uh, much of Kentucky. So no drought per se here, but just notice that the drought could be worsening with this lack of rainfall lately. There's our seven day forecast. Of course, rotate those clocks back one hour Saturday night at 2 a.m. with our new sunset Sunday at 540.